Out of the fog aboard the destroyer Sikh comes King Carol of Romania and his son, Prince Michael, on a journey of peace and goodwill. Waiting to receive them on the quayside at Dover, a guard of honor of the Royal Marines and His Royal Highness, the Duke of Kent, who is first to go aboard to carry the greetings of His Majesty the King to our royal guests. King Carol is wearing the uniform and cocked hat of an Admiral of the Romanian Navy, and over one shoulder, a superb white cloak with the black cross of the Order of St. Michael the Brave. And as he walks down the gangway, he's piped ashore. First to greet him as he steps onto British soil are Lord Camden, the Lord Lieutenant of Kent, and senior officers of the Defence Forces, while the Marine Band plays the Romanian National Anthem. Michael is wearing the grey beret and uniform of the Alpine Regiment in which he's serving as a subaltern. He's only 17 years old, but already he's taller than his father. Then by special train to Victoria Station, where King George himself is waiting. A dramatic moment, the meeting of two kings. King Carol greets His Majesty with a warm handshake, and afterwards King George shakes hands with Prince Michael and the Duke of Kent. His Majesty presents the official representatives on the platform, which include Lord Crewe, the Lord Lieutenant of London, and the Prime Minister, and to him King Carol leans forward with a special word of greeting. Other important people include the Lord Mayor and Sheriffs of London, the High Command of the Three Defence Forces, and officials of the Southern Railway. A striking scene beneath the brilliant arc lamps, shining down on the gorgeous uniforms of the members of King Carol's suite. 